of us can't be scared. I'm making that very clear to every so-called black organization in Trenton that claim that they care about the community in Trenton. Fathers United for a better Trenton. Fathers and Men United. All of these groups who go hide in the church basement. All of these church groups. All of these, yeah, we for the youth. The Boys and Girls Club. The YMCA. These babies that y'all have every day and don't teach nothing about their culture. Nothing about their history. Nothing that gives them young boys a sense of purpose to stand up and defend their community when stuff is going on. All you want them to do is bounce a ball. Somebody got to stand up, man. See, that's the other side of it that gets me upset and gets me frustrated with what goes on with our people and how we let this madness go on and nobody says nothing. That's the other side of the coin. We can talk about, we can yell at these crackers all day, man, but we as a black community have to stand up and deal with some of this other stuff that's going on, man, and not be afraid. We're not afraid to fight each other. We're not afraid to go shoot up a block party. Young girls get hit by bullets. Huh? Where, where to shoot? What a drive-by shoot that gonna be on Saturday? Huh? On Perry Street? On Walnut? Huh? You know, it, just the light bulb above the head, young brothers out here. I know some of us out here carrying. Where's the, where the drive-by gonna be at on Saturday? I bet it won't be on West Day Street. Huh? Where's it gonna be at? On Clinton Avenue? On Walnut? Huh? I mean, let's bring balance to some of the stuff that we do to ourselves, man. So it doesn't always fall on that we just talking about white people. We just talking about racism. We just talking about the problem. Slavery is over. But slavery exists anytime you have a 15-year-old boy who will shoot a 13-year-old girl. A 17-year-old boy who will stab his pregnant girlfriend. And Dolly Holmes, anytime you have that kind of things happening with our own people, you still have a mind of racism and white supremacy. It does exist. We cannot think that because we have a black face that represents global white supremacy, we do have a black face in the White House. You know, praise to him and his family. He's doing an okay job, but he still represents global white supremacy and domination and racism. And he should be here today too. <laughs> Well, hopefully the mayor and city council, they stand up to denounce just like they do gang members. Just like they do their own children in this community. Stand up to denounce these racist hate mongers coming to your city, Mayor Matt. We know you're dealing with a lot, brother. But come on, man. It's, 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 it's really simple, man. It's really simple. Don't leave some people out there to fight this fight when all you brothers standing out here know for sure we will fight each other over little silly stuff. He stepped on my shoe. He looked at me wrong at the party. But now you got some white boys coming to your city that we claim. I'm from Trenton. I rep Trenton. West Trenton. I'm from North. I'm from the hood. I'm from Wilbur section. Huh? I'm from Miller Homes. Killer Home. I'm from Divine Land. But here goes some white boys walking through your hood, Trenton. Huh? Walking through your hood, Trenton. All we got to do is unify and show one, that they're not wanted, and if things get out of line, this handle the business. It don't have to be violent, you know, but we should, well, since we can't denounce violence when it comes to defending, we have a right to defend our community. The same way we want gang violence to end, we want racism and white supremacy to end. But sometimes, okay. white supremacists don't understand it when it's peaceful. Ask Dr. King that. Ask Malcolm X family that. Ask all the young people who had their heads knocked over when they wanted peace and freedom and justice down in Alabama and on the Edmund Pettus Bridge trying to get peace and justice. So, we don't, we, we're not sure. Because this particular group, these are not just the average black people. Everywhere they go. The police lady over there said they was the worst ones coming. They're the worst ones. The worst ones. Everywhere they go, the violence follows them. And why Everywhere they, would they let them come ahead and protest they out there like that? Because they got some uncles that work in the state house. Come on, son. Come on, I'm talking this stuff. I don't understand. Well, that's the time to live. They might as well let us go to our schools and teach our kids. They walked in my house September 2nd, 2009.
down and took my kids because I'm a great recovering addict and took my kids. And I ain't get them back yet. That's I'm thankful for I'm thankful And I don't use drugs. I'm a working. And that's Gave my husband a heart attack and everything. He still got my kids moving with me. That's white supremacy and racism. Death to uh, 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 Death politics. Death to white supremacy. Keep it holding my babies in the foster home. It's white than my kids in the fall for what? It's white supremacy when you have I take care of the whole a downtown area that only sees the amount of police during the time when white state workers walk through downtown. Uh, now we can easily throw that off to the side. But when I pulled up, as I do most of the time, down here between 11.30 and 4.30, you see more police that harass black people on a bus stop. They, move, they, they, that, took, uh, they take out benches from downtown. That black, this is, that this is downtown. Why would you take benches from the, de the, from the downtown area that black people sit on every day? To protect mostly white state workers who walk through downtown, buying lunch, never speaking, never giving money to the homeless man, and don't even, huh? and don't even live in Trenton. That's, a, that's an aspect of white supremacy that needs to be addressed. Nobody want to talk about that. Nobody want to talk about how capitalism, which is a son of white supremacy, allows most of these businesses to run downtown. And none of them are owned by black people. But we spend the most money and we can't even set up a vending stand downtown. Because of I an mean, ordinance let me 25 years ago. Let me shake your hand, brother. I'll be here till I'll be here. Come on out Saturday, sis. Oh, my great. You know, so, so, somebody got to speak these things, uh, Alex C. Dan. I know it, 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 it sounds, oh, they just running their mouth. But you work for the media. You work for the media. You can't tell me that the media, in its very own way, expresses white supremacy and racism in its own way. It does. It, 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 it projects a story of black on black crime and minimizes when a white man in Princeton or West Windsor murders his wife. You know, he's still a businessman. You know, he gets his lawyer. He ends up maybe beating the case of doing a little bit of time and we never hear about the story. But when the black man who's probably only charged with some charges of murdering somebody. He's pulling the front news, pulling the front page. It get better than that. It gets, when a kid 15 gets shot, mm -hmm. and they can relate to sometime two years ago when he had a drug charge, Come which on. ain't related to the Come fact on. that he got shot. What is the fact that he had a drug charge at the age of 13 got to do when he get 15, he get shot? They unrelated. It's called the criminalization of the black male. We don't criminalize George Bush. We don't criminalize George Bush's daughter who got caught drinking, driving. We don't criminalize the state pussy boy, uh, uh, even though they attempted to, but it's going to get brushed up under the rug right here in the city. Tony Max, white chief of staff, driving without, a, driving without a license. You let that have been Alex Bethea. You, would be you let up. that have been divine Allah. Then you would huh? be arrested. Hell, you let it have been divine Allah who leaves a city council meeting and backs into a police officer's car. Huh? When I got elected. Come on, man. We project it when it's somebody black, it's white supremacy. And I'm not saying that this white woman is white supremacist or racist. I'm not saying you, Alex Zidane, but you can't tell me that the people who are in some boardroom right now saying Barack Obama, let's go over there and push a button that can drop bombs on innocent men, women, and children. Global white supremacy, and you can't tell me that's not white supremacy, man. You can't tell me white supremacy is not in these schools where little black boys are told you won't make it as a lawyer like they told Malcolm X. Won't you just be a carpenter? You can't tell me that every time we go to school, it's better that I go learn a sport. Huh? This is what they tell me. I, I just came from reading a, uh, some books over here at the Kids First Center, reading to all these beautiful children. And I noticed in not, not even an hour and a half time how the young black boy is treated, man. I noticed that with my eyes. And I, I don't go looking for this stuff, but I notice how the white teachers look at the little black boy named Prince. Huh? Come on, Prince. You know, you want to dance for? I'm here to read. Why is he? Why are you talking about dancing to a black boy? Huh? But you got? Come on, little Jennifer. Come on, Emily. Mr. Divine is here to read to you. But the black boy, you want him to do a dance for me? When I'm coming to read for Early Mercy Reads Day? That's white supremacy in its own little way. And we got to address it. Stop acting like it don't exist. It's white supremacy when you got a majority black and Latino city that's policed by white police officers. That don't live in the That city. don't live in Trenton. So when a but you rarely have a bunch of black police officers patrolling Princeton, patrolling West Windsor, patrolling Lawrenceville. You're not going to have it, man. It's white supremacy.